Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to calculate the value of x in the equation 8 power x plus 2 power x is equal to 130. We know that 8 can be written as 2 cube. So, replace this 8 with 2 cube, which will become 2 cube whole power x plus 2 power x is equal to 130. We are having an equation a power m whole power n is equal to a power m into n is equal to a power n whole power n. Just the value of m and n are reversing. So by applying this formula, we can write this 2 power 3 whole power x as 2 power x whole power 3. We will send this 3 outside and bring this x inside. So the equation will become like this 2 power x whole power 3 plus 2 power x minus 130. We have we are bringing this 130 from right side to left side. So it will become minus 30 is equal to 0. Let us suppose 2 power x is equal to k. When we, when we replace the value of 2 power x with k, the equation will become k cube plus k minus 130 is equal to 0. Now, write this k as minus 25 plus 26. 25 is plus minus 25 is equal to 1. 1 k. Just we are splitting this k as minus 25 plus 21 which is equal to k only. Now from this k cube minus 25 k take k as common like this. The remaining will be k square minus 25. From this 26 k minus 130 take 26 as common. Here the remaining value is k minus 5. 26 into 5 is 130. Now we know that a square minus b square can be written as a plus b into a minus b. By applying this formula here, k square minus 25 is 5 square. k square minus 5 square is k plus 5 into k minus 5. So finally the equation will become like this k into this part is split into 2. k plus 5 into k minus 5 plus 26 into k minus 5 is equal to 0. Here we can see that k minus 5 is common in both parts. So take once again k minus 5 outside as a common. k minus 5 into the remaining value is k into k plus 5 and here the remaining value is 26. Finally the equation is k minus 5 into k into k plus 5 plus 26 is equal to 0. In this equation, from this equation we can say that k minus 5 is equal to 0 and k into k plus 5 plus 26 is also, also equal to 0. First take this first part k minus 5 is equal to 0. So k is equal to 5. Send this minus 5 to this side. k will become 5. We know that k is equal to 2 power x. That implies 2 power x is equal to 5. Now take this second part k into k plus 5 plus 26 is equal to 0. Multiply this k with k plus 5. It will become k into k k square k into 5 5k. 5 26 as it is, is equal to 0. Here, this is a quadratic equation of form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So in this case, the value of the k will become minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. This is a formula which we are going to use here. So here a is 1, b is 5, c is 26. So when we apply this formula here, the value of k will become minus b minus of 5 plus r minus b square, 5 square minus 4 into a is 1, c is constant 26 divided by 2 into 1, a is equal to 1. It will become minus 5 plus r minus 25 minus 104. 26 into 4 is 104. Now, 
then k is equal to minus 5 plus or minus 25 minus 104 it will be equal to minus 79 here we can see that there is a negative value under a square root so when we have a negative value under a square root we will not be having a real solution so the solution will be imaginary so finally by this we can we can by this we can say that this is this part is not having any real solution for k so we can ignore this part so we can consider this part only 2 power x is equal to 5 when we apply log on both sides it will become log 2 power x is equal to log 5 we know that the formula log a whole power n is equal to n into log a so we will bring this this side x this side it will become x into log 2 is equal to log 5 finally when we send this log 2 to this side it will become a, de a denominator log 5 by log 2 finally the value of x is equal to log 5 by log 2 thank you